Hello everyone. So in this video, I wanted to talk about uh, KSNIP, which is, in my opinion, uh, a really good uh, utility for taking screenshots. Now I make a uh, lot of videos. In fact, I make uh, at least a couple of videos every day. And I, of course, prefer uploading my videos on YouTube with a thumbnail. I mean, uh, you don't have to if you're really good in what you're doing. If you uh, think your videos are amazing, then uh, you can probably get away uh, without uh, uploading any thumbnail. But I think it is good to upload a thumbnail. And, and th there are a couple of reasons why I upload a thumb thumbnail. Uh, number one, of course, I want uh, my videos uh, to look. I want to basically convey something on my on my video uh, page when someone is looking at my channel, like what this video is all about. I think uh, it is probably a good idea to also upload a thumbnail. But I also uh, make sure that whenever I upload those videos on YouTube, I also add them on my Drupal website. And on my Drupal website, these thumbnails that I add to my, to my, to my videos, they are added as an image automatically. Of course, I, I, I have to do it. Uh, there is a way to do it using uh, the media module. And I think I should probably talk about Drupal a bit more on my channel because that is what I do quite a lot. Now, if, you, if you're looking at uh, the, 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 the videos on my channel, there are thumbnails on, uh, on the, the video pages. And these thumbnails are uh, stored on the Drupal website. So it is, in my opinion, a great uh, idea to upload a thumbnail. Now, when I upload a thumbnail, I think I did talk about it. I use a shell script uh, for not uploading the thumbnail, but for, but for generating a thumbnail. So basically, if you look at any of my thumbnails, I do have few things like, uh, let me just open uh, maybe, maybe my YouTube video channel, and I'll probably uh, try to explain my my thumbnail so if you look at my thumbnails i'll probably pause this video yep so in my thumbnail i do have like uh, this uh, let us say if i'm talking about emacs so there is this this uh small background with emacs in the top left corner and uh, if i'm talking about let us say uh, shell scripting i do have a specific uh, background image with uh, uh, with, with, with with like a shell scripting uh, uh written on the top left corner so that is number one i do have uh, you know the text here like right now I, this particular thumbnail says that okay 10 linux youtubers i follow in june so these are two lines of text and uh, i also add sometimes you know this cartoon character so basically i, I use a shell script and i, I do these things because i want uh, things to be quick when I'm uh, making uh, videos and uploading them, I don't really want to spend too much time doing all those things. But at the same time, I, I, I want to maintain uh, some some quality. Now, talking about screenshots, the th there is also like one image in the background, which is actually uh, the screenshot that I usually add. Screenshot of, you know, let us say if I'm talking about KSNIP, I do take a screen screenshot. Now, I use a tool called uh, KSNIP, which I wanted to talk about uh, briefly today. Now. The reason, the, the main reason I use this tool is because of uh, the annotations. So to start KSNIP, what you can do, you can use this D menu item on D menu on top and you can type in KSNIP and it will, uh, it will basically give you this, uh, this, uh, K, this, 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 this KSNIP uh, interface. Now you can of course take a screenshot if you want, like you can, uh, I think uh, there is a command here called uh, shift R. And it will then give you the the option to take a screenshot and then of course you can do something with it now i don't really uh, want to i don't really want to use uh, uh, the 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 option to take a screenshot by opening a case snip basically i want uh, a shortcut so there is, there is a shortcut so if you if you run case snip once and if you close it then i believe uh, you can then use this this shortcut called uh, uh, I think uh, I think it is. I, I I'm looking at the keyboard because I know the shortcut, but it is Alt Shift R. So if you press Alt Shift R, it will uh, let you take the screenshot, and it has opened uh, case snip in the background, which is probably fine. But uh, you can cancel it, uh, and you can maybe move move your uh, mouse to a different uh, monitor, for example. Then you can press Alt Shift R, 
it will give you the option here to take a screenshot like this and uh, you can take a screenshot and then maybe you can uh, bring in your case nip here uh, again in the in the foreground and then of course you can do something with it like maybe you want to add some annotations like maybe you want to uh, draw something here or maybe use some arrows or rec use a rectangle so this is this is in my opinion a great uh, software and if you press ctrl shift s you can then uh, save it as uh, the screen as the screenshot uh, name or whatever name that you want or maybe you want to rename it so i prefer renaming it so these are the, the only only two shortcuts that i use like alt shift r to start case nip and uh, ctrl shift s to save it with a different name if you want and uh, you can install casenip i believe using uh, pacman it should be in the repository i think it should be in the repository but of course you know do take a look at the github repository page if it is not in the repository maybe of course uh, I, I think you can just do a just clone this repository and uh, build the package yourself if you want which is not really difficult so that is all i wanted to talk about in this video i hope you enjoy watching this video and you learn something new today thank you very much